Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome back to another Star Wars Rebels episode review. My thoughts on tonight's episode of Star Wars Rebels titled The Last Battle. And I loved this episode, definitely more than I thought I would. Um, and I apologize for this video not being, you know, an actual video and just me just making an audio video. Um, I don't have any of my, you know, camera or microphone equipment, so I'm, you know, away from my home. But, you know, I wanted to get this video out because I have to I, again, I liked this video way more than I thought I would, and I just overall, I had a, just a really fun time with this episode. While it didn't further the story of season three, I thought it did enough to where, you know, we get to see more, obviously seeing Rex back and him, you know, dealing with his PTSD of everything he went through in the Clone Wars and having to like relive that with, you know, the main plot of this episode being them going to that planet where the battle droids are and having that you know that officer droid you know thinking that the clone wars is still going on and that you know the battle droids are still out in the war that that uh the separatist you know movement is still against the republic and it's like and he would and how the episode basically was leading up to like you know like like the, the, the kind of like like the the fake fight or like the, the fake final battle between the droids and you know and rex and the, and ezra and kanan and the episode definitely took a turn that I necessarily wasn't expecting. And when, you know, it was when, you know, the Empire was coming down on the planet and as you're pointing out that, hey, you know, the battle droids and the Separatists didn't win the Clone Wars and the clones didn't win the Clone Wars. The Empire were the, were the ones who won. So at the end of the day, neither of you guys had a real resolution. So you guys both essentially lost. And that's something interesting that I thought was said by Ezra, because I'm like, wow, like, Ezra's actually right. And while it was a little bit of a cheesy moment for the, the two, like, sides to come together in that moment, I thought it was definitely a nice change to what was going on in the episode, because I'm like, okay, you know, I know they're going to win the battle, and then it's going to be under the droids, and blah, blah, blah. By seeing them team up against the Imperial forces and against those walkers, I just, I don't know, something about it just made me feel, like, good. And... I don't know, it was just something that, again, wasn't something I was expecting necessarily, but seeing the two forces come together to, to fight the, the Imperial forces, I, I really enjoyed that a lot. And I love the banter between Rex and Ezra in this episode, because Rex is obviously coming from a place of, you know, I, I was there in the Clone Wars, like, like, my friends died because of these droids, so that's why we have to do this. But then Ezra's like, I've heard so many stories, good and bad. So at the end of the day, it's really, again, again, neither of you guys won. So it just, seeing their banter and just, I don't know. I, I, just, I just like seeing more of Rex in general because he, even though I didn't watch much of the Clone Wars, he was a standout character for me. But also seeing him in, in Rebels, we get to see more of him fleshed out and see him more play of a role in the Rebellion. And just seeing him just makes me happy. And of course, tying every, all the canon in together. And also one of the things he mentions in the end of the episode when they were talking about when Ezra was like, I don't know how you guys fought like so so many droids all the time. And he's, when he mentioned the Battle of Geonosis in episode two, I thought that was a nice nod to us fans. You know, even though obviously episode two isn't my favorite Star Wars movie, I had a lot of fun with that movie. In just not in the aspect of like, oh, it's a good Star Wars movie, but you know, like there were aspects to it. You know, just like all the Jedi battling the droids and. I thought Obi-Wan's story of, you know, chasing down Jango Fett was fun. I didn't like the Anakin and Padme romance up to that point, but in those moments, like the action sequences, I thought were fun, and that's what made that movie not terrible to me, but not enough to make it my obviously my favorite Star Wars movie. But I like the nod to that for us fans. But, um, let's see, what else was there? Um, I just thought it was, like, it was definitely, this episode was definitely an homage to the Clone Wars show itself, and how just like the, the tone of the episode, obviously them fighting the battle droids, but also this was the Rex-centric episode, and obviously in the way that we, again, dealt with his PTSD, and we just dealt, like, this episode was, was way more of his point of view with things, and again, seeing a side of him we never, or really we haven't seen as of yet in Rebels, and again, seeing him kind of just like, relive those traumatic times for him and mention the fact that he lost his friends so that's something I, I it was nice to see that kind of development for him as a character and for him at the end to ultimately you know team up with the forces that he spent so many years fighting 
way back when, you know? So, yeah, that's, that was just something from, like, as, as a storytelling mechanism from start to finish to see him go through all that. I, I, I thought it was a nice way to wrap up the episode. And I thought, honestly, this episode was, again, didn't further the story of the season, but it furthered the Rex character and made me just, made me just kind of happy and made me kind of want to rewatch re Clone Wars because of how much of this episode was an homage to the Clone Wars. So those are my thoughts on this tonight's episode. What did you guys think of the episode? Did you guys like it? What were your guys' favorite moments? Sign your thoughts in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So that's going to be it for me. So until next time, guys, have a good one.